All right, greetings. My name is Ariel Triposki Korkili, and I'm the programs director here at San Bruno Mountain Watch. Paul Buscal, I'm the president at San Bruno Mountain Watch. The significance of San Bruno Mountain, there's so much going on as far as invasive species, plants in particular that are affecting the grasslands, which are really important. Welcome to Mission Blue Nursery. We love this nursery. The best thing about it is that it's a community-run nursery. And this nursery really runs on the hearts and energy of our local community. Every single plant you see here in the nursery is native to San Bruno Mountain and grown with the help of volunteers from the surrounding community. So we have every variety of plant that you may be used to in different nursery's from ground grub covers to trees and shrubs and wildflowers. The curious thing is that all of that are plants that are super local, that are just grown, you know, found five minutes away on San Bruno Mountain, um, and really represent the really rich variety of native flora that calls the mountain home and that makes it a very special place. Some plants I want to highlight are uh, some of our native grassland wildflowers. So a buckwheat and a buttercup. So on the very west side of San Bruno Mountain, above Daly City, there's actually sand dunes that are remnant from the ancient past. And they're still there, you can still walk and see these ancient sand dunes. So from that habitat, this is the yellow bush lupin, and the beet strawberry, also a plant you might see growing seaside. So our Mission Blue Street is situated right between the Bayshore Highway and the Caltrain. So thousands of people pass by here every day, you know, see a curious little lovely wooden structure and might not know that it's an amazing nursery just abounding with the native plants of San Bruno Mountain. We're taking a whiff of California sage. So behind me are some really nice California buckeye trees. They're the trees that give the name to Buckeye Canyon. I want to take you inside this buckeye tree to kind of show you that there's all these little special spots on the mountain and I hope that you'll come out here and find your own special place here. When you think about San Bruno Mountain, I hope you'll think about it more as a cultural landscape instead of this notion of it being a wild, untouched area. Uh, one example of that is this big quarry behind us that's been in operation for about a century. Uh, this mountain is full of places that really show the effects of the human hand on the landscape. We have the quarry, we have gas pipelines, electricity towers, we have the towers up there that broadcast radio and television, and we have all these layers of history from the Ohlone area to the Spanish and Mexican rancho area to, you know, battlegrounds over development. The federal government, the state, the county, local governments, there are already funding programs that we have on the mountain and there are uh, funds, the Habitat Conservation Plan, which was the first one on San Bruno Mountain. We need more. The grasslands are really being impacted. So, Every plant that you see here at Mission Blue Nursery has a different purpose. Some plants that are in tinier containers might be making their way onto San Bruno Mountain this winter uh, with the help of folks like you. Everything about this nursery was built by community, the actual structure and just all the plants you see here. San Bruno Mountain Watch is a small nonprofit, and we're super community based and grassroots and so everything we do from the nursery to the mountain is done with the help of local volunteers. Um, we're always looking to invite new community members to join um, our community, our, our lovely family in a sense and so I invite you to come out here to the nursery to join us on San Bruno Mountain and get involved in our ecological restoration programs as well. Uh, so if you ever like to join us here at the nursery or on San Bruno Mountain for a restoration event or for a hike please check out our website, www.mountainwatch.org and be in contact with us. We'd love to see you out here on San Bruno Mountain. Thank you.